Do you have a penicillin allergy? So I don't and you might not have one. Probably you don't. Probably don't. Well, what if it says in my chart I have a penicillin allergy? Does that mean I have a penicillin allergy? This is exactly the issue we're talking about. This is a very, very common problem. It has very real consequences. So a recent paper came out that showed 6% of people in the United Kingdom have penicillin allergy listed on their chart. It's probably similar across most developed nations. Okay, and here's the catch. How many of those 6% who have listed yep. a penicillin allergy actually have an allergic reaction to penicillin? About 10%, so 90% of those people, after a proper history and detailed physical examination, were determined to not have a penicillin allergy. So nine out of 10 people had it on their chart for no reason or the wrong reason. Okay, so then you're thinking, well, what's the big deal? If I say I'm allergic to penicillin and I'm not, isn't it better to be safe than sorry and say I'm allergic to penicillin even though I'm not? Right, so it poses a lot of very real risk to you because penicillin is a very important antibiotic. So, fun fact about penicillin. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Fleming in 1928 was uh, a doctor microbiologist, was doing some studies with Staph aureus where he had a bacteria on a petri dish. He went away for the weekend. Mm -hmm. He comes back to see on this petri dish, there's some mold growing on the petri dish. And in the area where the mold was, the bacteria was not growing, so he thought, that's kind of weird. Maybe the mold has some type of protective effect. And what he learned is that that mold was making a substance that prevented bacterial growth. And he named it penicillin. Okay, now listen. For those of you kids in college, <laughs> the moldy dishes you leave by the sink are unlikely to lead to a breakthrough scientific discovery. Do so your dishes. Stop doing that. I had roommates like that in university. And I, it did. made me mad. You had yeah. to wash a dish to yeah. have a dish yeah. to yeah. use. Yeah. How does that old steak now have hair on it? <laughs> it's so gross. Okay, so it worked for Fleming, the moldy right. Petri dish. Yes. The Petri dish is just a dish we use to culture bacteria. Yep. It won't work for you. It will not work for you. And the other thing that they found is that this increased the risk of death. Six deaths per thousand people could be attributed to this penicillin allergy. Okay, not the mold. That's the false listing yes. of penicillin allergy on your chart increases your chance of dying. Can you believe that? I can. And this is such an important issue. There actually now is penicillin allergy day. And it is September 28th. Unfortunately, we just missed it, but we'll celebrate it next year, I promise. And Hallmark does not make a card for it, so you'll have to make your own. Okay, so how do people end up with the diagnosis on the chart? Because I, I see it all the time, and I always ask my patients, oh. is this a real allergy? Because we use antibiotics that are cousins to penicillin all the time in surgery. Drives me bonkers. Yep. So one way that it could happen is, let's say when you were a kid, you had some kind of viral illness or some illness, yeah. and you also got pen some kind of penicillin for it, and you ended up getting a rash. Probably the rash was from the illness you had, right. but it got attributed to the penicillin you got, and boom, now it's on your chart. This is similar to when someone says that they're allergic to sleeping pills because it makes them drowsy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So when it comes to antibiotics, when we say that, is sometimes this causes stomach upset, sometimes causes diarrhea, so yeah. that could lead to a penicillin allergy. It could lead to, yeah, you thinking you have penicillin allergies yes. when you don't really have an allergy to it. Okay. So how can this be harmful to have a false penicillin allergy on your chart? Okay, so the number one thing is it removes our ability to use often the most effective antibiotic for your infection. That's right, so there are penicillin, there's not just one penicillin, there's a whole class of yeah. antibiotics that are penicillin based and they're very useful for a variety of infections and if you say you're allergic to it and you're not, you won't get that antibiotic which might be the best antibiotic for whatever bug is infecting you. Right, so that's number one. Number two? Number two is it could lead to a longer hospital admission right. because of that. And, and potentially a prolonged recovery. So your disease is going to either be worse or hang on longer or have more complications because you're not getting the proper treatment, which makes sense. All right. So I might have gone in there for an abundance of caution. And I hate that term, abundance of caution. How about an appropriate amount of caution? Sure. We heard abundance of caution a lot in the last few years. Okay. I think it's be, it would be better if we just use an appropriate amount of caution. Sure. So that abundance of caution that put penicillin allergy on your chart yep. may be harmful to you. Okay, so now what do you do? So how, how are we gonna get this off? How am I gonna get this off my chart? Once something's on your chart, it's very hard to get it off your chart. Agreed, Okay. It's agreed. Almost impossible. It's like that episode of Seinfeld it when, uh, when Elaine was bad and he's like, she's yeah. like, what, what are you writing there? He's like, it's, it's in your chart, Ms. Once it's in your chart. So you can't get it out. Okay, so to get this out of the chart, 
So this study makes us believe that a, a really detailed history and physical exam should be able to do it. Yeah, a detailed history and physical examination should be able to get that off the chart because we'll yes. ask, you know, what was this allergy? Why did you think you had this allergy? Oh, yep. I thought I had this allergy because my sister got the penicillin and had a rash, so I think I'm allergic. So that might get off the chart. Yep. If you've had like a reaction and it really, really looks like an allergic reaction, then you might need to get allergy tested. Right. And, and the main reason we don't get everybody allergy tested is there are ways to see these people and it has an associated cost in socialized medicine. So that would be one of the reasons to not just rush into that. But yeah. if you had a severe reaction, definitely that's required. Okay. And you usually don't need that to get no. it off your chart. Oh, yeah. You now you know. Now you know that you might... Uh, look at that. All your life you go through thinking you had a penicillin allergy. You watch this video. Now, so allergies can be dangerous, right? I, ha I, I have had a patient who did have an allergy to an antibiotic that we routinely use, and we gave her some before her surgery, and then her. And she didn't know. No, she didn't know. Nobody knew, and she really crashed, and she needed resuscitation in ICU. Yeah. So it is dangerous. She's okay is, though. She's fine now. Yeah. yeah. But it is important to know if it's a true allergy. And not, and it's kind of a never cry wolf thing, right? If everyone says, oh, I'm allergic to penicillin, then people stop really worrying. Do you know how many about people you? actually probably really cry wolf nowadays? Like, uh, I know there's more wolves nowadays and some yeah. of that more urban center, but I think yeah. it's not really very cool. Yeah. You don't go, wolf! Yeah, people don't cry anything anymore, yeah. but. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.